Most people say the Brazilian public health care system is not good. Some locals told me it's great. So what's the deal? I have a story to tell you. In Brazil, I've previously visited a dentist, a doctor, and this time, I had to go to the hospital. There you go. We're at the hospital. Sita Infection Hospital. I think this is the entrance. First time in the Brazilian hospital. Check my infection of the leg. This is my swollen ankle. It's been like this for several days. It started when I was in a public park shooting a video and walking around with my camera. This wasn't in the jungle or the Amazon, just an ordinary park in the south of Brazil, the state of Paraná. Here we are doing a video test of the Panasonic S5 and we're testing the vlog color profile with the CineD profile and listening to crazy bird sounds. While I was holding my camera, I felt a sting at my ankle. Since I was filming, I didn't look down right away. It felt stronger than a mosquito bite, but less than a bee sting. It didn't really bother me that much, and since I was in the grass, it couldn't have been dangerous. Well. 24 hours later, I see this, a red, swollen ankle. But I had to board a flight. I was going to Fortaleza, so I chose to relax and not to worry too much. Another day goes by and my ankle's in pain. It's actually hard to walk and it's more swollen. I took ibuprofen, hoping that it would go away, that swelling would go away, but three days later, it didn't get better. On the fifth day, I decided to visit a doctor. But it was a Brazilian holiday, and the clinics were closed, private hospitals were closed. So I, had, I asked some locals, what should I do? And the locals advised me I visit a public hospital. There were a few open. So I was recommended a hospital in the center of, in the middle of Fortaleza. And that place uh, is supposed to be for bites and infections. I visited this hospital in the middle of Fortaleza and waited 20 minutes only be, to be told that have a sting and not an animal bite so they couldn't see me. It wasn't a bad visit, but the hospital looked quite outdated and yeah, it's a bit different than the usual. They actually directed me to another hospital, another public hospital, so I went there. So the nurse told me, I waited for the nurse about 20 minutes and they told me this is hospital for bites, for rabies and things like that for animals. So I need to go to a different hospital now and back to Centro, Fortaleza, to see another. I arrived there, and the security guard states that if I'm not in grave danger, then I can't get in. What? Really? What the heck? So, I told the guard that I was directed here, and I need to get in. So, he finally let me in after talking. The hospital registration part took a bit long, about 20 minutes but only after a nurse said I could be admitted. So she saw my swollen ankle and decided to let me in. From that point, I waited another 15 minutes and was seen by a doctor. While the hospital was busy with patients lying in beds in the corridor, there was no panic. And the patient next to me also agreed that even though it's busy, the service seemed to be good and that as long as you weren't rude, you'd be seen by a doctor in a short amount of time. So the doctor, I spoke with, he prescribed me anti-inflammatory medicine and directed me to the toxicology department. From there, I was impressed because the doctor in toxicology spoke decent English. She inspected my leg and said it was not a venomous thing. But if the swelling doesn't go down, I should return in five days. From here, the most difficult part was actually finding an exit back to the reception. It was a big hospital and I had a hard time finding my way around. I was given some papers and I was able to check out. Now guess what? How much did I pay for this visit, do you think? Zero. That's right. Zero highs. It was free. And I was so happy because even though I had some international insurance, I was even more happy that I didn't need serious treatment. But I'm also glad that there is good service there. And that's that. Hospital care is somewhat better than in the United States because it was free public care, and every person has the right to be treated in Brazil. Compare that to when I was struck by a homeless man in San Francisco, and I ended up with a fat bill even though I had very good insurance. Damn, 
you're a great mafia blowjob, trash. Well, that's all you're getting through, trash. With deductibles, I still had to pay for it. In case you're not from the States, you have to pay for everything there. The ambulance ride pre-deductible was $1,800 and a couple more hundred dollars for a doctor to give me stitches. After the insurance coverage, I still had to pay over $200 for my deductible and my Brazilian hospital visit, even though nothing happened serious, it was free. And if something did happen, I'm sure I think it would be free as well. This is the Fortaleza. So? So, which healthcare system do you think is better? SUS, SUS in Brazil? It's not as bad as some people claim. Especially in the north of Brazil where people claim the service is worse or the system is worse. It was fine. It wasn't bad. It's better than I expected. So, I just want to thank you, the doctors that saw me in the public hospital in Fortaleza. Muito obrigado. Thank you and come visit Brazil. My channel has many videos of Brazil. So stay here and watch them.